The Christian is already blessed by default. As a matter of fact, heaven has opened over the life of a believer, of a Christian. I'm not talking about church member, I'm talking about genuinely born again Christian who understand the word of God and abide in the word of God, who are filled with the Holy Spirit. It matters what part of the Bible you read. It matters what part of the Bible you apply to yourself. If you choose to use the old outdated rules and doctrines, it's up to you. But I don't know about you, I encourage you to move up to the New Testament promises. Let us look at what the Old Testament says. I'll read Malachi chapter 3 and verse 10. Malachi 3, 10, it says, Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now. Here would say the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. See, this was written to the Jews. This was not written to the Christians. Christianity started after Jesus resurrected. Christianity started in the middle of Acts. When you read Acts, that's where Christianity started. But some people choose to go by these rules. So they have to do something so that God will open the windows of heaven. So in, 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 this, in, this, uh, in this rule, you have to do something for God to do something for you. But when Jesus came, the whole equation changed. So many people still understand what Jesus meant when he said it is finished. You know, Jesus said it's finished, but some people still say it's not finished. Well, for, all, for, some, of, for some of us who have accepted that it is finished of Jesus, let us move to the New Testament and see the, the, the word of God for us. Look at in, in, in what I just read. You have to do something for God to open heaven for you. But look at what 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 3 says. It says, oh my goodness, I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 3. It says, according as his divine power had given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue. Jesus called us to glory and virtue. And he said, all things, including open heavens, have been opened to the believer automatically without you doing anything because Jesus did everything for you and I. Let's take one step further. In Ephesians, I'm going to read the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 to 4. He said, Bless, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. The believer, the Christian is automatically blessed. Whether you see the blessings or not, and remember your blessing doesn't, uh, it's not about how much money you have in your account or your degrees or whatever. Your blessing is the fact that you are in Christ Jesus. So a Christian automatically have heaven open over him or her without paying tight. You know, but if you want to use the Malachi version, that's what you like, go ahead. But for some of us, we teach our followers to come and abide in the New Testament.